The Ithaca Police Department has a new officer on the force. His age and experience may surprise you, but his story may inspire you. WENY's Ryan Bells was there for the swearing in of IPD's youngest officer. It's been a dream of Colin Tolans to become a police officer, and when the Ithaca Police Department learned of his dream, they made that a reality. Colin is only nine years old, but has shown the bravery that is necessary for a police officer as he's battled brain cancer since age two and endured six brain surgeries. Now, do you solemnly swear to uphold the Constitution of the state of New York and the Constitution of the United States of America and to faithfully discharge the duties of the office of police officer in the city of Pittsburgh? Ithaca Mayor Savante Myrick and Police Chief Barber swore in Colin as an honorary police officer. So that's Officer Colin Hayward Tolan now. He first thought he would be best suited in the office, but the department convinced him otherwise. I just like helping people. I decided to get the job to be a police receptionist. <laughs> hey, you know, Colin's taking this really seriously. He thinks this is a job. So... You know, just so you know, this isn't just like, oh, come down to the uh, station and we'll show you around and we'll have a fun day. This is like, you know, this is a career change for him. For me personally, it's definitely probably the highlight of my career to be able to grant a wish to someone who is so worthy of so much more than just a wish. And uh, he is inspiring, he's brave and courageous, and I tell you, it touches my heart. I know it's touched the heart of every single officer in that crowd today. Officer Hayward Tolan enjoyed his day as Mayor Myrick proclaimed it Colin Hayward Tolan Day in the city of Ithaca. I think it's pretty amazing that everyone came and that they are celebrating, so I'm very surprised. It meant so much to us, and I mean, I, I was like genuinely the proud mother of a police officer this morning when we drove up. Colin had a message for everyone. You should always follow your dream no matter what. So if you have a dream of becoming a uh, firefighter or anything, then you should actually get that job if you want to have that as your job. First on the agenda for Officer Tolan is a tour of the police station. Reporting in Ithaca, Ryan Bells, WENY News. It was a special day for an honorary Ithaca police officer. That's because Officer Colin made his very first arrest after reports that the Grinch was stealing presents. WENY's Ryan Bells brings us the story. So we all know the story of how the Grinch stole Christmas. Or a hearts of dead tomato clutch with moldy purple spots, Mr. Grinch. But do you know the story of how Colin stopped the Grinch from stealing Christmas? Every Ithacan down in Ithaca liked Christmas a lot. But the Grinch who lived just north of Ithaca did not. Then he got an idea, an awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I was trying to steal Christmas from Ithaca, and I don't enjoy Christmas, so why should anybody else? And he snuck through center Ithaca, empty bags in his fist. Then he slid down the stairs, a rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. Around the ground floor, he took every present. Pop guns and bicycles, roller skates and drums, checkerboards, tricycles, popcorn and plums. And he stuffed them in bags. When he heard a small sound, like the coo of a dove, he turned around fast and saw Officer Colin. He's under arrest. Yay! He's been practicing all day for his big debut. Stop your under arrest. Stop your under arrest. But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie and he thought up it quick. But it wasn't enough to fool the young officer. I arrested the Grinch. The Grinch himself? Yeah. What was he doing? Uh, he was stealing pudding. Then he took him in cuffs over to court. He apologized and then we let him go. And what happened then? Well, in Ithaca they say that the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. The real meaning of Christmas isn't, isn't 
taking the presents, and that's just not true because the real meaning of Christmas is to have fun with your family. Every Ithacan down in Ithaca, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came! And I hope you all a Merry Christmas. The end. Reporting in Ithaca, Ryan Bells, WENY News. Thank you, Ryan, so much for that story. So the Ithaca community received some early Christmas gifts this morning. Several different police departments delivered gifts as part of the annual Cops, Kids and Toys charity event. Ithaca's honorary officer Colin Tolan was there to ensure those families would have something under the tree on Christmas morning. WENY's Kara Demers has the story. Christmas came early this year for some local families in Tompkins County, courtesy of the Ithaca Police Department, including the help of its youngest officer. Cops, Kids and Toys has been a holiday staple in the Ithaca community for over three decades. Today, police departments across Tompkins County deliver Christmas presents to the doors of children in need. Alongside Ithaca's department was nine-year-old honorary officer Colin Hayward Toland. You would never expect a nine-year-old to become a police officer, which is understandable, but that was at least one of my dreams. The charity, which will help about 1,200 kids this season, is entirely funded by volunteers and community donations, something that Ithaca and its surrounding community has never been short of. We're fundraising throughout the year, um, and we're able to purchase anything we don't get from the community, but the, this community is one of the most generous I've ever seen. Well, it falls in line with what we do every day. We like to help people. It's just one more way of doing that. And for Officer Colin, helping people is just another reason that he loves being an officer. He says he's excited to see what else the job will bring. I just like being with them a lot of the times. I'm really excited to see what challenge I have. Reporting in Ithaca, Kara Demers, WENY News.